his marvellous light. We have come together in the presence of God our Father to rejoice in the gift of Jesus, to us the light of the world, to hear and receive the story and message of the coming of Christ, and to offer to God our thanksgiving in prayer and song. Heavenly Father, we thank you for that very first Christmas when you were born as a baby, and we thank you for this Christmas when we can celebrate your birthday once again. Amen. Christ has brought us out of darkness to live in his marvellous light. We have come together in the presence of God our Father to rejoice in the gift of Jesus to us as the light of the world, to hear and receive the story and message of the coming of Christ, and to offer to God our thanksgiving in prayer and song. Heavenly Father, we thank you for that very first Christmas when you were born as a baby, and we thank you for this Christmas when we can celebrate your birthday once again. Amen. We are ready. The waiting is over. The light is like no other night. This night is a night to sing and dream our way to Bethlehem, a little town in the hill country, 10 miles south of Jerusalem. In the centre of the town, there is a small inn. On this night, it is overflowing with people looking for somewhere to sleep and somewhere to eat. Behind the inn is a dark stable. A donkey chews hay and a cow stands quietly and rests. All is quiet and still. Angels, the 
darker. The two travellers slowly come up the road. They are an old man named Joseph and his young wife, Mary, who is expecting their first child. They have travelled for six days from Nazareth to come to this town where King David was born so long ago. They have come like so many others because the Roman Empire wants to count every person that, so that he can take their money as a tax. But it's, but it's late and Mary is tired and can't, can walk no further so is seated on their donkey. Where will they sleep? They knocked on the doors of many inns but there was no room. At last, when when they have almost lost hope, a kindly in, innkeeper takes pity on them and says they can sleep in this in a stable with the animals. See you through his own redeeming. 
vegetation holds its breath inside the stable. All is warm and clean and quiet except the soft noises of the animals munching their hay. Suddenly from the stable comes a cry of a newborn baby. Mary, Mary wraps her child gently in a blanket and lays him in the animal's feed box which Joseph has filled with straw. over their sheep. All at once the darkness becomes suddenly light and in the middle of the light is something even brighter, the faces of angels. The shepherds hear music in the sky and voices say to them, do not be afraid, I bring you good news of a great joy, a joy to be shared by all people. Today in the city of David a saviour has been born, he's Christ the Lord. More angels appear, a whole heavenly host praising God and singing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. God will to all people everywhere. The shepherds run with joy across the fields to Bethlehem, to the barn behind the inn. They find the Holy Family there and creep forward. Overwhelmed with mystery, they see baby Jesus lying asleep.
pod up the road to Bethlehem. They had came from the east, far behind, far beyond the Arabian desert. The camels carry the three kings, the wise ones, the magi, the first, the oldest, Melchior, the king of Arabia, Arabia, who brings the gift gold. Behind him is Balthazar, the king of Ethiopia, who carries the gift of frankincense, and lastly the youngest, Caspar, the king of Tarsus, who brings the gift of myrrh. They, they, they are travelling together for safety as the three gifts are very precious. They are following the bright star to, place, to the place where they have been before. They are following it where, wherever it leads them because they know that it will lead them to the newborn king. Stars, rain, cold. 
comes to rest over the stable and the kings know their journey, long journey is over. They fall to their knees and gives the, the baby Jesus gifts of bright gold which is a sign that Jesus is a king the sweet smell in frankincense to show that Christ is to be a high priest and bitter work which is used in medicine to show that Jesus will have the, the power to heal presence the, they have brought so far with so much love so now we have come following the star to find God with us we come as people have come throughout the ages to bring our gifts to the Christ child God with us.
Bring your stars to the front and let us enter into the mystery of Christmas as we place our stars around the crib. As we gaze upon the Christmas scene, and as we celebrate 2,000 years since Jesus was born, may it help us to remember that he is still with us. May it teach us that you never leave us, and may it give us strength to live for Jesus now and forever. Amen. Thank you, God, for Jesus, your very best gift to all of us. Thank you, God, for Jesus. For Jesus, more precious than gold, frankincense or myrrh, thank you God for Jesus. For the gift of Jesus, Saviour of the world, thank you God for Jesus. For the gift of Jesus, our Lord and our King, thank you God for Jesus. Amen. Dear God, we thank you for the birth of Jesus and that we can celebrate his birthday again this year. Help us to be, be help us to be good people and to love everyone in the whole wide world just like Jesus taught us. Remind us that the best gifts come inside people, not paper. Amen. This Christmas may we have the joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds and the giving hearts of the wise men. And we ask Father of all, you have given us your son to be the saviour of the world. Welcome us to children in your kingdom to enjoy your presence for welcome us for your children into your kingdom to enjoy your peace forever and may the and may the biggest of almighty god father son and holy spirit rest upon each and every one of us and now forever and more amen merry, merry christmas. christmas hi everyone this is reverend alex i hope you've enjoyed the crib service from st mark's and st david's performed by members of messy church and sunday school 2020 has been so unlike any other year and even though we couldn't have had the very popular service in church, we wanted to ensure the joy and love of Christmas was still celebrated. I pray that you have a wonderful Christmas, a fantastic and peaceful new year from all of us here in this church. Here's to a 2021 full of blessing. Bye.